I am with John Elder, Vice President from Joad America at AWFS Vegas on the first day. John, how are you doing? Hey, we're doing great. We've uh, already had a good morning here, seeing a lot of people that we haven't seen since the last show two years ago. And it uh, looks like the enthusiasm is pretty good for the show. That's true. So, John, tell me, how is the American market for Joad? I think the American market has been very brisk, uh, especially as it comes to looking at new technology and trying to improve quality. I think uh, the market is strong, uh, so much so that everybody really is focusing on making things with a higher quality level. So we're here today uh, to show some of the new technology on the adhesive side for what we call invisible glue line edge banding. So we have some new products that allow you to put an edge band down with any with, with zero uh, glue line that is visible and also better adhesion for some of the new standards. Uh, people want waterproof glues, people want high heat resistance, and of course people want an invisible glue line. So we have some new products and some techniques that we think we can help people, whether it's uh, how to get better performance out of their existing system or maybe show them some new tools that they can invest in for the future. So, uh, John, if I may ask you, what is the best market for this product? Uh, well, I, th I think the best market for us really is, I don't know if there is a market, it's pretty widespread. That's the beauty of it, it's kind of universal. So, whether it's for the store fixture market, for the kitchen cabinetry market, uh, or even just general woodworking. Uh, we're really seeing everybody in every market wants quality now. And uh, it's also a really healthy market right now because in the U.S. market we're seeing a lot of reshoring. So companies that were manufacturing overseas are setting up new facilities here in the U.S. Uh, and that's creating new demand for all of us. So if I may ask you, where are you heading in 2023, rest of 2023? Are you expanding your business to new region? Uh, we're definitely expanding uh, in that we're putting new people into the market. Uh, we're putting new warehouse locations in here. Uh, and we're also expanding our manufacturing capabilities in the U.S. People want a domestic supplier. They want uh, to make sure they don't go through the supply chain nightmares that they went through uh, a couple years ago. So we've been investing uh, in expanding our capacity so we can turn things around a lot quicker with U.S. manufacturing and using U.S.-based raw materials to make it. John, thank you so much for your time. All right, thank you.